What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and you already know. I'm back at you with another message. How's everybody doing? Let's get right into it. Narcissistic-minded individuals think you are never going to wake up to their gaslighting. Let's talk about it. When you're um, a pretty decent person, you know, you like to think yourself think of yourself as a good person, okay? You're not somebody who tries to play with people. You're not someone who plays games with people, all right? You're up front. You keep it real. You don't have anything to be fake about, you know? You uh, treat people how you want to be treated, and you wouldn't necessarily, because of the person that you are, think that there are people out there who might be trying to be conniving or underlying or sneaky or vindictive or passive aggressive or might try to you know throw you under the bus little lame things like that but there are people out there like that okay there are people out there who will do things to you act like they didn't do it and then act like you're the problem all right there are people out there like that but the thing is It's been happening to certain chosen ones for a while, certain chosen vessels for a while, because you have to reach a certain level of awareness to know that you're being gaslighted. So before you may not know what's going on, you just may know something is weird. You may just get a weird feeling or you may just scratch your head. Your intuition is going to tell you that something is not right. Okay. And usually when you're around people, you're going to not feel like you fit in. You're going to not feel like you belong in that group of people. They are going to, and they have to do this, they are going to, because it's, it's in their nature, by default, do something that, psych, that makes you feel excluded psychologically, okay? It may not be out front. It may not be right in your face. It may hit you four or five hours later, maybe a day later. Wow, that person was uh, trying to play me. Or wow, that person was doing whatever, trying to insult me, low key. And then if you confront these people about that, they'll act like they don't know what you're talking about. But it's been, it's it's been normal to you. It's been going on for so long. At first you just ignored it. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Maybe it's, it's me. Maybe it's something with me. Maybe I, maybe I'm doing something wrong. And then that formed a whole bunch of guilt in you. So now they groom, people have groomed you because they, they see what type of person you are and people know what type of person to gaslight all right these these narcissists these gaslighters these these negative entities they know what type of spirit is in their presence as far as who to treat what way and who not to treat what way they know when somebody is not evil all right they know when somebody is not on the same page as them because they'll exclude that person they'll act like that person's not there they'll ignore them all right but they want you to be all up in their face, be friends with them, be friendly. Hi, how are you? How you doing? We're not doing that, okay? But the narcissistic-minded individuals, they think you're never going to wake up. They think you're never going to become hip to what it is that they're doing to you. And it's just a big joke, all right? They crack little jokes. They say little things. And for the longest time, you thought people were just saying things maybe that made you feel uncomfortable or you thought people just couldn't let things go. Wow. Why, why can't they just let that go? Why do they keep holding on to that? But then after a while being around people for a few months or being around people for a long period of time, you tend to see like, yo, why is this keep getting brought up? They keep bringing this up. They're never going to let that go. And then after a while, it just becomes the norm and it becomes draining. It becomes a headache. It becomes annoying because you know that when you have, when you go to be around these people, you know they are going to hit those triggers. You know that they're going to say that thing that they say to you every year. You go to the little Christmas party. You know they're going to say that same thing to you every year when you go to Thanksgiving. Okay, you know they're going to say that same thing to you every year. When they see you, every time they see you, they got to bring something up. They got to say something to make you feel uncomfortable. They got to say something to try to bring you to a dark place. They got to say something to try to make you backtrack, to make you lose progress. Because anytime away from them, they know that you grew. When you're away from them, they know that you're healing. They know that you're growing. 
they know that you're you're or you're feeling better than you are when you're in their presence. But when you bring it to their attention, when you try to talk to them about it, they act like what they're doing is not real. They act like what they're doing has no effect. You need you need to stop being so sensitive. You need to lighten up. Um, you, 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 why are you acting like that? Why are you you're uptight? Okay, how is being uptight? Just you're not uptight because you don't like something that somebody's doing. All right, that's setting a boundary. People don't like things all the time. I guarantee you the people who are gaslighting you, if you did something to them, they'd tell you like that. Yo, don't do that. Stop that. I don't like it. And then if you if you were to say something to them about it, what do you mean? They'd be like, you're doing that. So it would just turn into an argument. You know, they wouldn't even let it go. So there's no point in calling these people out. There's no point in arguing with them. There's no point in saying, hey, you're gaslighting me. You're a gaslighter. It's no point, all right? Well, we're gonna, what we're going to have to do is just become immune to it, all right? If you have to, write it down. If you have to, talk to someone who understands. If you have to, pray about it. Talk to God about it, okay? God's always there because it, it could get frustrating, all right, when you're for years and years of trying to explain things to people, trying to tell people this is how you feel, trying to tell people this is how you're being treated. Eventually, you're just going to have to move forward and let it go. Because people aren't going to change who they are just to make you feel better about yourself. But that should let you know how much hate and how much sorrow and how much pain people are really holding in for who they are. People only do that when they feel bad about themselves. All right. When, when people feel bad about themselves, they want you to feel bad about yourself, too. And unfortunately, they'll do things to bring you down to where they see you're on their level. And then that's when they're comfortable. That's when they relax that's when they'll be nice to you because you're around them. And now that they've got you where they want you, now that they've, they've crushed your spirit, and now that you're complying because you haven't left, you're still sticking around, you're still putting up with the, the weird activities, all right? Now they feel that they got you and they feel now that they could just do anything because you're accepting it. You're not saying anything. But the thing is, if you say anything, if you call them out about it, they would ignore it and they would gaslight you and tell you that what you're experiencing isn't true. So at that point, when you're at the point where people are still trying to bother you, trying to test you, trying to make you feel bad about yourself, trying to lower your spirit, lower your self-esteem, okay? They see you have a high morale for yourself. They, they want to crush that, all right? When people are going to ignore the fact that you're telling them how you feel and then they're going to keep making you feel that way, you have to separate yourself. You have to distance yourself from them and you have to spend as much time away from them as possible so that way you could heal, so that way you could grow, so that way you could live your life, so that way you could feel better about who you are, so that way you don't have to constantly keep rebuilding yourself up. All right, that's that, that will cause PTSD and psychological damage. Okay, no trauma bonds. All right, we are done trauma bonding. Okay, if it's a trauma bond, we're going to bond with you from a distance because we're done with trauma. All right, we don't need to be traumatized anymore. All right, we all we don't need to be mentally tormented anymore. It's the chosen ones and chosen vessels and light beings and star seeds. We go through so much, people just don't understand. But the thing is, it, it, it's even worse when you realize they just don't care. Okay, once you get to the, it, it, it's okay for somebody that okay, that person just don't understand. They don't get it. But when people just don't care, that's that's terrible. That's a horrible thing. When people just do not care, I don't care. That's just the way the world is. Okay, that's just the way the world is. Well, if that's just the way the world is, I have to get away from you because I'm not going to, and I have to get away from whatever is making me feel like that. Okay, you got to get away from whatever is making you feel like that. If that's just the way the world, if that's just the way the world is, if it's a dog eat dog world, well, I'm going to be the lone wolf because I'm not going to be around anybody. And anybody try to eat me, you're going to get ate or something worse. Okay, so what they need to do is just fall back and just chill. But they can't do that, not in your presence, because you're irritating their spirit and they got a, a, a demon inside of them and it's not letting them rest. OK, when you're around them and that demon and you're irritating them, that demon wakes up and they can't get rest. All right. So they're operating in their lower nature when they when they when they um, try to oppose you and try to go against you. And and they um, say say bad things to try to get to you and try to get in your head. But the, the, the real sick thing is this. They'll just sit there and watch. They'll try one thing and you'll know they just tried something. You'll be like, okay, maybe that's just it. They'll do another thing. You'll be like, okay, 
That's all you got. All right, whatever. And then unfortunately, what these people will do is they'll keep going. They'll keep going. They're like the Energizer Bunny. They will keep pressing your buttons until they press the right one and then you explode on them. And then that way they can say, see, I told you we shouldn't have invited him here. See, I told you. That's why she don't want to come around us. She always got an attitude and she just be having an attitude. Don't nobody want her around like that. And shit, she don't want to come around us. We don't want her around either with that nasty attitude. Why would you come here and bring that attitude here? Knowing the whole while she was just doing some whole sneaky, evil, demonic, uh, uh, spiritual attack, uh, mind attack on you. But they act like they're not doing it. So when people act like that, when people want to stay on th- stay in third grade, and when people want to uh, continue to put you down, and when people that are supposed to be getting along with you are supposed to be trying to be better than you, all right? When people you're supposed to be connecting with are spo- are tr- are just not, the connection is just not there because their behavior won't allow it, and they want to put that pressure on you like you're the one that don't like them. Don't let people pull the wool over your eyes like that. You know you got love for them people. Don't let people play games with you like that. You just don't like foul treatment, okay? It's, it's only common sense to say, hmm, I'm coming around this group of people. Every time I come around this group of people, I feel like somebody just put me in a garbage can. So, hmm, what can I do? Do I want to be Oscar the Grouch or do I want to be free as a bird and feel good about myself? I think the second one, I, yo, peace reigns supreme, baby. Okay, peace, peace reigns supreme. You need peace in your life to function. You need peace for everything. All right. I, I, I used to wonder why I was so mad and upset and angry walking around thinking I have anger problems. I don't have an anger problem in the world. Okay. People have, people will condition you if you let yourself be conditioned, unfortunately, because pe- their people are jacked up. So when people see that you're in a type of conditioning, they'll just go with the flow. Okay. This is how we treat a person like this. And they won't think nothing of it because they're stuck in the matrix too. And once people see you get treated a certain way, majority rules, people think they could just treat you a certain way. But then you you have to let people know that they can't treat you a certain way. And I suggest you start with the 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 uh the head person there, the person who think they just that person. You start with that one. Because you let that person know not to mess with you, everybody else will fall in line. I ain't mess with him. You see how he stepped to homeboy? I ain't mess with him. You see how he stepped to homegirl? And you do that. And then at that point, you just step to him, you say what you say, and you let it go. Because they're going to ignore it. They're going to act like it's not happening. They're going to gaslight you. So you know that they're going to do these things. So you step to them face to face so they could, you know, they they get the message like, hey, I know what you're doing. I'm going to ignore it. I really don't care. If it it keeps going further, I'm going to just do what I have to do to make it stop. And I don't think you're going to like that. Okay? So if you could get, if you could say that, if you could try to communicate with them, to at least back off and give you some space, they may not. Ch- it may not change who they are, but a lot of times you get your message across to people, and they they'll know that you're not the one. Okay, so if you if you feel that you can get your message across and just let the, you can let that person know that you're not the one, then do that. But if not, if it's not that type of environment, if they're a manager or something, uh, there's there's still ways to do that too. I'll make another video on that, how to put your manager in place and keep in in um keep your position or I'll just make a video on how to uh how to take your job to court okay <laughs> we can make a video on that too but um long story short right don't let people uh play y'all all right we're not getting played out here when we know when somebody's bad and we know when somebody's good these these things are common sense but because we we because we need money you need a job you may um, let a certain thing slide, or you may think you need a job so bad, well, let me just ignore this. No, 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 no. There are a million and one opportunities out there. We have to start believing in God, okay? When people are, when and things are unfair, speak up about it. Let people know that's not right. This is not what's happening. There, there, there's laws, there's against this, there's rules against this. Where's the employee handbook? I'm pretty sure this isn't professional. I'm, I'm pretty sure what's going on here isn't within the employee handbook. You start talking like that, people leave you alone. And then if you want, you get on your you can get on your Charleston White. What like once the once people and the, and here's the thing, this is what we gotta realize. This is why we have to keep our cool and we have to stay focused. Because once once you start talking professional and you don't you don't get in your bag on these people, you don't get wild on these people, you don't show them your rough side. Once you stay uh politically correct, as they say, people not gonna mess with you. All right. Once you let people know, like, yo, I could go to the employee handbook, okay? Um, 
do, do we got to get a lawyer? Do we got, what do we got to do here to solve this, to get this to stop? Or like, even before that, like even before you get the lawyer, let's just say you said the employee handbook, right? You could sue these people because these jobs are stupid. All right. These people are stupid. All right. What they'll do is they think you're not going to do nothing because there are certain people at the jobs that got the no snitch mentality, I guess, or whatever, because they got linked up with Jamal or Joaquin or, or, or Ray Sean and, and yeah, you know I mean, Ray Sean or Joaquin or uh, somebody done put them on a little street game or whatever. So now uh, Sally or Bob or, or, or Jim is walking around a job with a little, little fake swag. He think he got because people are kissing his butt for extra hours. Cause they all narcs. You know what I'm saying? So basically when you tell these people, yo, this is unprofessional, let's, let's look at the employee handbook and, and look at the guidelines to see if this behavior is appropriate. I guarantee you them people will be kissing your butt for at least a week. At least one week, okay? They'll leave you alone for one good week when you pull out the employee handbook on them. But this is why when you get jobs and stuff like that, you study your employee handbook. Because when them people start acting weird like that, you pull out the employee handbook, like, yo, so-and-so's treating me like this. This is happening. And right here, right there, it says that that's not allowed. And if that's happened, then these actions need to be taken. How can we solve this problem? Because I, I know you like him a lot. I see you guys get along a lot. I know I don't want to mess up no, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to step on any toes here. You know, start using their own thing. I don't want to pull nobody's coattail. I don't want to take the wind out of anybody's sails. But uh, what I need to do is have peace so I can do my job. All right. All right. What I need to do is have peace so I can chill around here and enjoy this good time, this good company. OK, this good environment. OK, no, no, no lawsuit for for uh, for outside of work uh, environments. OK, no, 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 no legal action for outside of work environments. OK, if it's that bad, we know we know just to separate ourselves and just go completely no contact and never speak to people ever again. All right. If you feel you need to sue somebody on the inside, then you just need to uh, keep them on the outside. All right. But as far as like work settings and situations like this, yo, don't be afraid to get professional on these people. These people are trying to take your job. These people are trying to make you feel like crap. These people are trying to make you feel low. All right. If, if it's to the point where it's so hostile that they're they're trying to force you out of there because you want things to be done right, get legal on them. OK, we can be in legal beagle on them. All right. 2023 and forward. OK, you stressing me out. You want to take my job? Cool. Get write me a check. All right. Write me a check. I'll call I'll call the best uh, the best small hat people I know. All right. With shout out to the small hat community. All right. Much love. OK, just a little joke, guys. All right. I'll get me the best uh, lawyer that I know. OK, I'll go get me a lawyer or something because we can't keep dealing with people. Who just, oh, man, they're just going to keep putting pressure on me and I'm just going to leave this job and go find another job. Nah, man, we can't keep leaving when people aren't doing doing things right. We're going to we're going we're going to do we're going to make sure we're going to make them do things right. OK. <laughs> All right. And I will have uh, uh, I will. I will. If y'all ask me to, if y'all think it's appropriate, if y'all would like me to, I think it's appropriate. I'll make a video on how to if your job ain't treating you right how to get bright okay because I've, I've had to do that uh i've had to do that before in my journey okay i had to take a job to uh had to had to you know had to get legal beagle okay i don't know how much i can go into that but I had to get legal beagle okay and it happens you know it happens but when people you have to let people know that they have to treat you right okay you gotta wake up to this gaslighting you can't allow uh, people to treat you like that, and and th that's really how that's really how you stand up for yourself at um, these jobs or whatever. It's just you can't let anything else get in the way. Don't worry about uh, uh, that. Don't worry about people calling you a snitch or nothing like that. Or don't worry about people looking at you like that. That's a job. That's not a snitch. A snitch is somebody who does uh, illegal activities with a partner, and then once they get caught, they tell on somebody. When you're standing up for yourself in the workplace, that ain't no snitch. Don't let these people fool you. That's somebody that's just trying to keep their job and be an honest, God-fearing, God-loving individual. Okay? And that's what we're going to be. They're not going to change us. So if you want to stress people out at work, you want to bother people at work, you want to make people feel inadequate like they want to quit just because they showed up, you need to take some action because, and you need to let these people know that they're not going to treat you like that. Okay? First step, employee handbook. Okay? If the employee handbook can work, cool. Cool beans. But if not, you already know which route you got to take. Okay? You already know which route you got to take. Start writing things. And here's the thing. Document all these things. Write these things down. These people at these jobs ain't treating you right. Write it down. October the 1st, 2023, 3.30 uh, p.m. So-and-so, something, 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 something. And it wasn't right. 
and then, <laughs> you know, just keep keep going. And then when you document all these things and they sh- and you show them each instance, they bothered me this day, they bothered me here, they did this, they did that. And once they once they see that, they're like, yo, how can somebody work like that? How can somebody uh, uh, keep their peace in an environment like that? How can somebody stay focused like that? How can somebody want to keep coming back to an uh, environment like that? Then you'll have people on your side, okay? Don't ever show these people you're behind. Don't ever show these people your ratchet side. They don't deserve it, okay? It, you'll be, you'll feel way better knowing that they tried to take your job and you got at least 20, 30 bands in your hand, okay? Hopefully you get that much, all right? When I got, when I did mine, we didn't get that much, but we still, we still want, uh, we still want something, just a little teeny tiny something. But it was, it, it, hey, it's, I, it, it, it is what it is, all right? You know, and but don't let these jobs get to y'all, all right? You can fight back. Okay, we're not just going to sit there and do nothing anymore. We can do something. And if they don't like what we do, they shouldn't have treated us that way. Oh, why do you have to take it there? Oh, you don't have to take it there. Are we the, uh, 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 uh. Then if we don't have to take it there, then why are we ignoring how certain people are being treated here? And then when they go try to get it, get it squished or get the problem solved, we get gaslighted and act like nothing's going on. All right, let's not act like this This doesn't happen in work environments. Let's not act like this doesn't happen, okay? So when they want to do that, we know what we could do. Employee handbook, and then if that doesn't work, we take it a step further. Letting these, letting these, letting they, they, let, they want to uh, do things on a grand scale, so will we. They want to plot and plan and scheme. Hey, if we have to, unfortunately, we'll do things the right way because the God is do, God does things the right way, right? And there's nothing wrong when people are doing you wrong to do things the right way. Don't worry about hurting people. Don't worry about what's going to happen to this one or happen to that one. There, you're, you're getting treated unfairly. You got to care about you. You got to focus on you. You owe you, okay? And when other people are doing this, and, and this is why you have no time for outside of work environment treatment like this. You don't have, because if people are trying to treat you at work like this, if people are trying to treat you in the world like this, you have, you, you, you something got to be done, okay? So you, you, you can't allow this type of treatment anywhere, whether it's at a Christmas party, whether it's at a, a family gathering, whether it's um, with your friends, at work, anywhere, out in public, anywhere, okay? But the job setting, you know you can get professional on them. Put that fear in them, okay? Put the fear of God in them, all right? Like, yo, I will take it there, okay? We can get legal, all right? Put that fear in them, all right? They won't mess with you no more, I guarantee it. And if they do mess with you, it's only going to be more money for you, all right, get professional with these people. These they, they're a little slow. Okay, they are really slow. All right, it's gonna be a lot. Yeah, after this video, I know it's gonna be a lot of people getting some checks from their workplace because these jobs are slow. All right, don't be slow right with them. Don't don't get on that frequency with them. Don't get on that dummy time with them. Get on the money time. They want to be on dummy time. I'm like, okay, y'all keep messing with me. I just seen this Drew Two video. Y'all about to run me up a check. All right, keep messing with me. All right, no, oh, yes, man. But they're they, they slow. They don't think. They'll bother you. They'll say inappropriate things. They'll they'll do the most. They don't care. They like, I don't know what's up with them, you know, but I know what's up with us. OK, <laughs> I already know what's up with us. So let's wake up. Narcissistic minded individuals, they may think we never will. But when we're around certain social gatherings, that's not like work or anything. And we can just get up and leave because we're not supposed to be there. Or we're not being paid to be there. We're not on no time constraint. If it's that bad and you feel like you need to go because the energy is that that bad and you have to you have to pick up your bed and walk and go, yo, pick up your bed and walk and go. All right. Tell them you'll see them later. Tell them you love them. I'll see y'all later. I'm not feeling well. I got to go. All right. And if not, if it's real, real, tell them like it is. Yo, this ain't working out. Y'all are on y'all. Y'all are on. This ain't work. Just You know what? Don't even get that deep into it. Wish everybody, hey, all right, I enjoyed the time. I'll see y'all later. And then just dip. Don't don't explain nothing. You don't got to say sorry. You don't got to call nobody out. Just yo, because you don't want to waste no energy. You're going to need that energy after you leave there to go heal anyway afterwards. And then on top of that, you're going to want to enjoy the rest of your day and feel good because you deserve it. So don't get out of pocket. Don't don't exasperate yourself. Okay, just, yay, I, I enjoyed myself. I'll, I'll check y'all later. And get make sure you grab your plate too if it's good. Okay, yeah, make sure you grab a couple plates. All right, hit them where it hurts. <laughs> grab you some plates. All right, but still, man, ladies, <clears throat> we don't deserve to be treated unfairly. We treat everybody with respect. 
All we want is to treat people how we want to be treated. All we want to do is go places and receive fair and equal treatment. We just want to go and vibe. We just want to go and feel good. Okay. We just want to go and spread some, spread some, spread some holiday cheer. Okay. Wherever we go, spread some cheer, spread some happiness, all right, spread some joy. And then people don't want to do that. People actually make fun of us for being good people because they think we're dumb because of it. All right. But once, once we wake up and once we become aware, oh, okay, this is how y'all feel about good people. Cool. And then we draw back and we cut ourselves off from them. And then they wonder why, oh, you don't want to be around no more. Oh, you don't want to do this no more. Yo, I've been a good person and I've been nice and you've been treating me like crap for it my whole life. So now my walls is up. I got to, I got to defend home. All right. Home base first. Okay. (laughs) I got to protect my neighbor. I have to, I have to love thy neighbor. All right. Which is your neighbor is yourself. Okay. Your neighbor is the closest person to you. The closest person to you is God and you. Okay. And if if you can't let God and you become disrespected. All right. You got to feel good about yourself. You got to be able to wake up and attack your day. You can't be sluggish. You can't be fatigued. You can't be hurt. You can't be thinking about, oh, man, this uh, people don't like me. And I try to go around and nobody accept me and everybody treat me different. And people be saying little stuff and sneaky stuff, try to make me feel this way and that way. We don't have time for that. We're, we, we're growing past that. We've grown past that. OK, we, it, it don't hurt us no more. Don't bother us no more. It may disappoint us a little bit. Because they may catch us off guard. You know, they may catch us in a moment. Oh, man. Because, I mean, you like to be around people. You like human interaction. But you just don't like being around the wrong people. You just don't like the wrong human interaction. And there's nothing wrong with that. You deserve to be treated right. You deserve to be treated good. And if people don't understand that, then that's too bad for them. All right? If you're not treating people bad, making people people feel bad or terrible about themselves, why should they make you do that? All right. And if you just showing up makes them feel that way, then that's that's a whole nother. That's that's something they got to work on. And you ain't got nothing to do with that. OK. And if they're going to they're, they're going to feel some type of way just because you showed up, then I, then you have to find some other people to show up for. All right. If people are going to make you feel weird just because you showing up, you got to find some other people to show up for. All right. Limit the amount of time. All right. Well, once you're around them and everything's good, cool. But once things get a little once things start to feel weird once things start to get like jabby and like uh nar- narky just dip just leave because at that point it's not going to be bad what what's the point of getting into an argument what's the point of having that same old argument what's the point of bringing up the same stuff what's the point of beating a dead horse okay let let uh the dead bury the dead ain't that what jesus said okay let the dead bury the dead so just let it go move forward and the universe will bring the right people at the right time. It always does. All right. There's going to be people who care for you. There's going to be people who love you. There's going to be people who support you. And not to say people don't love you. People don't care about you. People don't support you, but there's going to be people who respect your boundaries. Okay. They got, they, it's, it's it's difference between people who love you and have love for you. Okay. You could love me and have love for me, but if you're, if you don't care about how I feel, cause you treat me a certain way and, and you, you just don't let it go. You just keep going over it. You just keep bringing it up. You just don't let it die. And every time I come around you, I got to feel like that. Then that's not having too much love for me, is it? Not really. So if I don't want to experience that, and the only way to not experience that is to not be in people's company for too long. So I don't have to experience it. Then that's what I have to do. You got to limit the amount of time you're around folks. Okay. You don't love them any less. You don't hate them. You don't wish them the worst, but you got to protect your energy and how you feel because you can't take yourself out because you're feeling low. How do they know that like they don't even know what you go through? They don't even know what you're dealing with. You're already dealing with the whole the whole world on your shoulders. On top of it, people are acting funny in places that they shouldn't be. All right. So, you know, it's a lot that chosen ones deal with. We we deal with a lot and we have a lot of pressure on us, but we're built for it. We got to stay focused. Keep loving ourselves. Keep keep forgiving people. Keep forgiving ourselves. Keep having love for everybody else. Keep sending out love to everybody else, okay? Keep blessing everyone. Keep playing, praying for everyone, all right? Keep praying that they that they uh, God touches their heart. Keep praying that God touches their spirit. They get filled with the Holy Spirit. Keep praying that God uh, 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 give them a new mind and give them a righteous spirit and a clean heart. And that's all we can do, all right? That's all we can do. Ask, ask wish them the best, okay? See the best for them, all right? See them receiving all the gifts, from all the gifts and love and happiness and joy and peace from heaven that they could get. And then once you say things like that, you'll feel good about yourself. You'll feel good about them. 
you know, you'll be able to, in your mind, see them better. All right, you won't have resentment towards them. You won't feel icky about them. You won't feel cringy about them. You'll just be able to be your pure, natural, positive, light-filled self. All right? I want to thank everybody for checking this video out. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Appreciate all the love in the comments. Thank you for blowing up the comments section. All right, and thank you everybody for hitting the like button, getting the video out into the algorithm. I appreciate that. And I want to thank everybody for watching the ads because it helps the channel out monetarily. I want to thank everybody for watching this Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. We out. I'll see everybody in the next video. Drew Tube out.